Charles Spencer broke silence as Harry milks Diana's name in new Netflix series on the 26th anniversary. The 26th death anniversary of Princess Diana is being observed today. Princess Diana was one of the most popular British royal figures as the world mourned after a sudden passing in 1997 due to a car crash in Paris. Her tragic death led to a huge outpouring of grief not only among the British people, but among people around the world too. Who still remembers the beloved royal? Still remembered as the people's princess, Diana left behind her two sons, Prince William and Harry. Charles Spencer is taking a moment to honour his sister, Princess Diana, on the anniversary of her death. He shared a photo on his personal Instagram account. The poignant image featuring the young Viscount seated with his father, Earl Spencer, and his sister, the late Diana, Princess of Wales, was taken at a party at the Spencer family seat, Althorpe, in the summer of 1989, to celebrate their father's 65th birthday earlier that year. Last year, he also shared the picture featuring flowers and postcards that were left at Althorpe House, Diana's childhood home and final resting place. The bouquets were placed on a simple black bench that's situated underneath a silhouette picture of Princess Diana. The tributes were left in honour of the late princess. The caption read, Floral tributes left at Althorpe today by visitors from around the world. While his uncle was paying tribute to his late mother, Diana's youngest son, Prince Harry, was accused of using his mother to make money through his new series on Netflix. Many people believe that Harry's milking Diana's name with his heart of Invictus when he reveals that his tour of Afghanistan triggered trauma from his late mother's death. Speaking in the new Netflix docuseries, Harry spoke about the effect his time in the military had on his mental health. Talking to the camera, the Duke said, I can only speak from my personal experience, my tour of Afghanistan in 2012, flying Apaches. Somewhere after that, there was an unraveling, and the trigger to me was actually returning from Afghanistan, but the stuff was coming up was from 1997 from the age of 12. As footage of a young Harry viewing floral tributes to his mother at Kensington Palace appeared on the screen, the Duke added, losing my mum at such a young age, the trauma that I had, I was never really aware of. It was never discussed. I didn't really talk about it and I've suppressed it like most youngsters would have done. But then when it all came fizzing out, I was bouncing off the walls. I was like, what's going on here? I was feeling everything rather than being numb. Well, in Invictus, he found a way to talk about Diana in an Invictus documentary. A show for veterans, but why is Harry referring to Diana in a series of his wines? Somehow he's admitted his pain from Diana's death and not from his military time, and it's different from veterans' trauma. He knows that mentioning his mother will make his show more famous and popular. He just uses her to gain attention and excuse bad behaviour. Serious question, did he talk about Diana in this way before he got with Meghan? Harry's also said that he doesn't really remember Diana and that despite being shown private family photos, he's had the same picture that Archie plays Pat the Grandma, I'll never meet, with every morning on his desk at school. He didn't have a personal candid photo, it's so sad that the framed photo of Diana is a magazine glamour shot. They're clearly desperate to drive the numbers up for Invictus, so they roll out Diana. 